Welcome my lords and ladies of darkness. Today is the release of the first James Webb Space Telescope images. My name is Ben Patmore and I am an amateur astronomer and astrophotographer. And I also write the Darkest Hour, Brightest Night, Realm of Darkness article, as well as the scripts for the DHBN videos. Today I've been shoved into the limelight and asked to present the video for the release of the JWST images. Ah, the light. All hail the darkness. Which means we can publish the video in a more timely manner. Links to the NASA website, our website, our social media accounts, if you're not following us, our Buy Me A Coffee link, and any other related links and details are in the description below. So enough with me prattling on, and let's start viewing the released images. The first image is of the Carina Nebula, which is about 8,500 light years from Earth, located in our galaxy, the Milky Way. To view the Carina Nebula, you need to be located in the southern half of the planet, but it is visible with the naked eye. Next up is WASP-96b, which orbits the star WASP-96, which is 1,150 light years from us. WASP-96b is a gas giant, about the size of Jupiter, but with half the mass, and at a much closer distance to its star, at around 0.48 astronomical units. For reference, the Earth is one astronomical unit away from our Sun. Mercury is about 0.4 astronomical units from our Sun. So that perhaps can give you an idea of the distance of WASP-96b. The next image is of the Southern Ring Nebula, or NGC 3132. Visible if you are from around the equator southwards, the Southern Ring Nebula is about 2,000 light years away from Earth. Stefan's Quintet is a group of five galaxies located about 260 million light years away, located in the Pegasus constellation. Although possible to view or photograph, doing so probably isn't for someone just getting started in astrophotography, as it requires an exposure of several minutes and you'll need the equipment to ensure you can capture and process the images. The SMAX 0723 image was released to the public by US President Joe Biden on the 11th of July. And it is a cluster of galaxies which can magnify the objects behind them. Showing us some of the objects, hopefully inspiring the active and potential astronomers and astrophotographers. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, consider pressing the like button or the dislike button as well as the subscribe button and the bell notification. If you want to leave any comments about this video then please leave them below. And until next time, keep shooting the stars.